Hello everyone, this video we will look at how to configure integration of Home Assistant. Because uh, we can see this three point, uh, the Home Assistant have many components. We can see the, we can also call the integration. You can see uh, this link. There are many, 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 almost two thousands of Home Assistant uh, integration. You can just click the kind, uh, you can see uh, many can choose which to integration and uh, what is the main function of the integration that can realize the logical of some state uh, like some relay or some switch state uh, when it changed and also you can see we can send call sound service like send alarm message and uh, send a notification so you can see uh, this is the sound state uh, you can see the weather weather forecast and maybe some battery state so this is how to see the state and this is the call service we will test it uh, like send a message to your mobile phone and this is how to configuration for the integration uh, so sometimes can be configuration as the configuration.yaml file so this is a way we can use the file edit uh, you can write your configuration at this file content uh, just this file and sometimes you can configure at in the front end interface uh, so that just you can uh, click uh, you can see this is integration and you can add at this button so this is the second way and sometimes uh, some integration can be used in both uh, both way uh, you can configuration by this file and you can also by this interface and some components not uh, support uh, by this both way Okay, let's look at uh, some example. We can integration for for COVID-19 date uh, into your home assistant, and also we can integrate the moon uh, to your home assistant by different way so that you can understand easily. The first we can configuration the COVID-19 date. Uh, you can see uh, this is a link uh, how to configure the COVID-19. That is the details, but it's very easy. We just you can click. Uh, we can open this window and you can see I can just click configuration and the integration that add integration this button so that you can input uh, COVID-19 you can see uh, this is for integration and you can see uh, which country you live uh, this is worldwide uh, because you can choose your country such as I can choose China, I'm from China, so I can click China and uh, click button, finished. And now you can see uh, this generates the China COVID-19 views for entities, so you can click. And this is a, a full entity, you can add it to your dashboard. So we can go to the overview and edit a dashboard. and we can add a card and I can uh, glance just click this glance and you can see this COVID-19 this is comfort and this is death and you can choose other options of the COVID-19 and just click save and now you can see uh, this is the date have displayed in Home Assistant dashboard just click down and you can see uh, this has uh, showed the COVID-19 views comfort and current and this date will update every day so this is very easy for the first way to integration just use the front end interface uh, just click 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 will be finished and the second we can configure the moon you can see uh, this is a different time and a different date of the different speed uh, strip of the moon so this can modify this configuration.yaml file so that uh, I can uh, go to this file edit and you can find uh, this file uh, maybe you can click this and find out where is your configuration.yaml file uh, this file just click and you will see uh, this option this is default so you can copy this code the moon just like a sensor so we can copy and uh, paste 
uh, piston, you can see the sensor we have we have created a moon. And also you can uh, create uh, your room, uh, your home. That is latitude and longitude. That is very uh, accurate uh, for your home uh, position. So I can copy this code. I will tell you why is this code. Just copy and uh, paste. Uh, this is the home. You will where you position. You can maybe change to your office, your school, or your house. And this longitude and latitude uh, that you, you can go to this website. That is a, you can also use Google Map. Uh, so you can input uh, your house, which is your house. Uh, this is uh, my office uh, position. So you can just write, use your mouse right button to click show address. Then you will see uh, the latitude and the latitude. Uh, this is the data. You can see, I can copy and paste and paste here. Uh, you can, I can copy and paste and uh, re just replace by yourself. And this icon is home or maybe your school. And this radius, radius is 100 meters. Uh, you can set, uh, if your house is very big, uh, you can set the number is large, such as 200 and 300. So that uh, after your configuration complete, you just click save. And the configuration, we need to reboot the setting and restart the home assistant. Okay, restart. When you restart, uh, we, we, we can see the moon. You can wait for a moment. Uh, see this message? Okay, home assistant, you start and you can click overview and also add dashboard and you can add the card and click the glance uh, you can see the moon is automatically listed so I can press C okay I we can click the COVID-19 because it I have already showed it here I can click and delete this and save and this is the moon ship uh, for your local city. And you can see uh, this is a sensor. Because of the moon, you can travel with your home automation. Uh, this is how to configure the moon. Just like this, uh, the moon will have different shape. So this is a two way. Uh, one is for the uh, click the menu, and this is the configuration for the file to integration. And also, this moon is not very important. The important and many new functions will based on the sound. So when the sound is sunset and the sun rising, and you can close the curtain or open the curtain. So that will be useful. So about the sound, how to integrate the sound. The sound is default have integrated. So you can see the configuration. Uh, you can see the file edit. Just the default config have already have included some. So you just go to the overview and add the dashboard. And we can add a card. You can see the sum and save and this time you will see the sound and we can click down and the sound now is above the horizon and you can click and you will see uh, 
in your local setting, when is the sun setting and the one, when is the sun, sun rising? Uh, this is the time of the rising and this is the time of the sun setting. And in future, we will use this information and link the sun setting of the sun rising uh, for the relay output to country, relay on and relay off for the home automation. So that is very useful. So this is the sum, and this is very useful. So we can see at last uh, the integration and the add-on. The integration is the part of home assistant. Uh, this is a home assistant encoded function. And the add-on is not encoded uh, from the home assistant. The home assistant will load the integration program through configuration.yaml file. And the home assistant supervisor will manage as uh, add-on about the installation, configuration, and the startup and the shutdown. So this is two program uh, of the home assistant, uh, the add-on and the integration. The integration will uh, include with the home assistant. Okay, this is how to integrate the home assistant. And you can see there are many, many, many components uh, you can integration by yourself. Okay, thanks for watching.